I'm, I'm an English teacher. I'm involved with teaching English and English literature. And we look at the heritage, we look at the history of all these writers. And the one thing that has totally, totally escaped, um, escaped me, escaped my teachers, my colleagues, every school I've ever been at throughout my studies is the, in well, the impact of Islam, the impact of Muslim scholars. Now, if we look at English language, there are so many words. There are words so like many words. the word admiral. Um, words like Arsenal, Barbican, Crimson, um, in the word Hazard, it comes, from the, it comes from Arabic influences. And if I could just give an example, everybody, you know, all children, we, we, we all know the story about Robinson Crusoe. Now this story, I mean, I've taught this story and to many children, I was totally unaware until I read this book that this was actually written by a, an Islamic scholar by, uh, by the name of Hay ibn Yakzan. And he actually based this book on somebody who is lost in a desert or in an island, completely on, your, on his own, and he wanted to highlight the fact that uh, somebody can still, um, you know, could, could do, that person will still turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that story is pretty much completely copied by a very famous English writer, Daniel Defoe, completely, and, but the, the factor of the matter is there's no acknowledgement there, there's no, you know, but at the end of the day, this book, alhamdulillah, will raise that awareness of, of, this, of, of the great impact of Islam. I think we need to bring this book um, to every school, to every hospital, to every library, um, to really understand our heritage, so that, in fact, non-Muslims can understand that without this wealth of heritage, they wouldn't have some of the things or some of the, some of the books that are available today. Here we have, we, there's, there's this, actually, if you look at the beginning of it, this is just some of the words, some of the words that are, you know, that are there because of Islamic influence, okay? If we turn over, okay, here we have another, another section on the story corner, and this gives uh, us a lot of insight into some of the very famous stories, as I mentioned, Robinson Crusoe was one of them. Um, I understand that Shakespeare, even Shakespeare had influence, and uh, Charles Dickens, so many writers have had the influence of Islam. So I think that this would book would be essential in the classroom. The main, I mean, w we have a wealth of heritage here, and I think young people in this country, um, they are taught so much in history, but they are taught, and they, we're, we're, some of them even are taught about Islam, but they, I think there's so much work to be done in the area of understanding our heritage, what has been done in the past, and how that is affecting, till, affecting us, every single person's life, today, in the whole world. It's a global thing. Um, you know, there are so many things that we need to be aware of, and we can feel proud of our heritage, because this is, th this is the backbone of our identity. Oh, for a start, I'm, I would like to bring this, implement this somehow into my lesson plans, into my schemes of work. So, I'm, I mean, I teach GCSE and A-level, and I, for example, the Daniel Defoe, the author that I just mentioned uh, before, I teach that author. I'll be able to bring that, implement that, and help to educate young people, whether Muslim and non-Muslim, about, uh, about Islamic heritage. I think um, this can be used as a very effective tool by parents. I think um, parents can, this is really great bedtime reading, for example. I'm constantly encouraging uh, my students to read. And I feel that a lot of the literature they find, even if it, it you know, it, it doesn't seem to focus on how, what their heritage is. We have to go back to that. And I feel that this book is an excellent resource for parents. Parents can sit down, they can talk, and they can educate themselves. Because I think we ourselves don't know what, what, what our legacy is. Yes, the pack can be ordered um, off on the internet. Um, I've actually browsed through the teacher pack and I feel that it's an excellent resource for, or if any of the teachers uh, watching the program out there, I think that the pack should be ordered. Or if there's parents watching there, please uh, or either order you of the pack yourselves or uh, you know, contact teachers. Your, your children um, will be able to you know, put you in the way of talking to teachers and so on. And try and, I think that this, this there's no, I've not come across any other piece of literature like this. I think all aspects are highly impressive because one of the things that's very interesting about this book is that it takes you through 
almost if you look at if I just focus this on if we just focus in on the chapters for example it goes into the home the school the market the hospital the town the world the universe now it starts local and it goes out it goes global and it just shows I think that in itself shows that Islam has a impacted on us on it, it's almost moved out in a concentric circle it's moved out and it's gone global and that is um, that in itself that w what our heritage is what people the inventions that they left behind have become a global phenomenon and it started local and it's it's permeated throughout our life you know people talk about you know being uh, it's a way of life but how and i think this book helps you to okay. understand that thank you